and what we know can, come, can be achieved by the pricing of carbon is certainty. And we know if we provide for the contingencies that we know will happen along the way, if we tax pollution at its source, if we pass on the savings to the consumer, we have to be involved and committed and engaged. That is the only way the change is going to come about. The problem is that the fossil fuel industry gets to use the atmosphere as an open sewer into which to dump for free their waste. Okay? And what we're trying to do is put a price on that sewer, so do not expect them to take it lying down or happily or anything else. But we felt very strongly that the climate crisis was not just an environmental issue, but it also had to do with fundamental issues of justice and equity social and economic, and we have representatives from those constituencies here today. We have a party that is, one party that is devoted to climate change, the, the Democrats, and we have one party in which most of the climate change deniers fall, the Republicans. We can't achieve big public <coughs> policy changes with a partisan difference like that. Human-made uh, climate change is a huge uh, moral, political and legal issue because the people who are causing the problem, and that's us, the older generations, are not the ones who are going to suffer the consequences. There's this um, really nice level of tension here um, between kind of the, the wonkiness um, and, and the people that kind of work inside the system and, and the activist side of it. And it's that creative tension that's happening here of how we combine those two in the most effective ways. We've got to get off of carbon as quickly as we can. That's the imperative. There's no, the only magic, there's no magic number. It's a magic direction. And that direction is down. And to get down off of carbon as fast as possible and ubiquitously as possible, that price incentive has to be clear, transparent, and rising. While you do need the grassroots organizing and you do need, you know, those community level solutions, you also need, you know, the big systematic changes and I think a price on corporate carbon is that first step. There is a potential to pass a carbon tax across the board in the United States. There is a coalition in waiting. You know, right now, as many of us know, we are a relative minority, you know, in terms of environmentalism and climate activism. And it's time that we really come together and commit to long-term goals that are consistent and are ones that we can encourage our peers and other organizations to coalesce around. It's really important for us to recognize that our grassroots organizing work is about bringing a people-centered policy around the climate crisis. It is that very um, strong, powerful um, uprising, which is bringing corporations to the table. So they're not our allies, they are our adversaries, but that doesn't mean we can't make them change.